so before starting with selenium cucumber you should have basic knowledge of what is selenium web driver and cucumber so you can get to know more about selenium cucumber at seleniumhq.org this is the page uh, where you will get to know more about what is selenium uh, next is cucumber so for cucumber uh, cukes.info is the site here you will get to know uh, about uh, cucumber and uh, how you can uh, uh, write your code or write your script using cucumber if you are already familiar with selenium web driver and cucumber you can skip this part now coming to the prerequisites required before writing any of your test scripts, the mandatory prerequisites include uh, downloading and installing Ruby. So uh, this is the site from where you can uh, download Ruby, rubyinstaller.org. Here you can download a Ruby. Uh, next is DevKit. You need to uh, have DevKit downloaded and installed on your machine. So the site is rubyinstaller.org slash download. So here uh, you will get the respective uh, dev kit for your respective machine. Uh, next is gem which is selenium cucumber. Uh, you can get to know about selenium cucumber gem and this site. It is rubygems.org. Here you will get to know the latest version of uh, gem selenium cucumber. Other than the mandatory, the optional uh, prerequisites include a Sublime, which is a text editor, and Sikon, uh, which is required to get color output on Windows, Chrome Driver. Uh, using Chrome Driver, you can run your script on the Chrome browser. Internet Explorer Driver, uh, in case where uh, you need to run your uh, test script on the i browser. Or else, uh, you can uh, download Selenium Cucumber Bundle, where you will find all the above requirements. Now uh, let's start to automate the thing, uh, setting up Selenium Cucumber. Uh, since I have already downloaded my Selenium Cucumber bundle, I can show you. Uh, so this is, uh, th there are two subfolders, one for the Mac and one for Windows machine. Uh, since mine is a Windows machine, I'll select this. Uh, Ruby is a mandatory requirement, so selecting this for a 64-bit machine. Okay. Here are two uh, check boxes which I need to tick. So what this will do is this will avoid the overhead of you writing your uh, path in the system variable. Ruby which I am installing is Ruby 2.0.0. Finish. Now I can actually show you whether Ruby is installed or not. The command is ruby hyphen v. Okay, so uh, this shows that ruby uh, 2.0.0 is successfully installed on a 64 bit machine. Now, uh, the next step is to install dev kit. So, uh, the suitable dev kit for my machine is 64 bit. So, I'll be extracting it. I need to extract in, in the C folder. So, I'll make a new folder. So extract this. This can take a few minutes. So uh, here is my folder dev kit in which uh, the elements have been extracted. Now I need to initialize this. For initializing dev kit, the command is first you need to go to the directory of uh, dev kit. The command is dk dot rb init this will initialize the initialization complete now you need to install this the command is dk dot rb okay now the dev kit is being installed now the next thing which we need to do is to install the uh, gem which is selenium cucumber. Let's go back. The command is gem install selenium okay. 
this may take a while so all the 12, 12 gems have been installed uh, now we will see the gem list So uh, the dependencies which uh, the Selenium Cucumber supports is Selenium WebDriver and Cucumber. So it automatically it automatically installs both Selenium WebDriver, the latest version, as well as the Cucumber latest version. And now we will uh, check out the version for Selenium Cucumber. Here is the command. So now the latest version is 0.0.5 and now coming to the option requirements which is subline. I will install subline for a 64 bit machine. Now we need to open Sublime. So now this is a, a packet required for highlighting the syntax in uh, Sublime. So Cucumber is the um, you first need to go through the readme file which says to open sublime uh, text editor click on the preferences uh, browse packages option the packages window will open now simply we need to uh, copy the cucumber folder given in the bundle to the above package directory i'll show you now copy this References, browse packages, and copy, paste. Now we need to close this uh, sublime. So now by uh, copying the cucumber uh, package, what this will do is this will simply highlight the cucumber syntax on sublime. The next thing is to install the web driver. So to use Chrome and Internet Explorer browsers, we need to add their drivers path in uh, the system variables. For this, we need to create a directory web drivers and uh, keep the drivers uh, exe file in it and then set the web drivers directory path in our system variables. So I'll show you. You can, uh, you can find this web drivers folder in the Selenium Cucumber bundle itself. So this is the uh, folder. I need to copy this and paste it in my C folder. So it has been copy copied. Now these are the two exe files. I need to copy the path of these exe files in my system folder. Copy. The one system settings environment variable. Now this is my system variables in which I need to uh, in which there is a path. I need to edit that path and append my path over here. 